That says Anora. Wow! What a nice piece to find in this box, an Anora bracelet. Hello, hello everyone. This is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. Today I have a jewelry unboxing for you. This is a Goodwill blue box of jewelry, 16 to 20 pieces. There could be sterling silver in here, designer jewelry, recycled, curated costume and fashion jewelry. I purchased about four or five of these back in December of 2019. We are now in March of 2020, so I have held on to this one, this last one for a while. I'm looking forward to opening it up and seeing what is in here. We're going to do that right now. And just so you know, they are not selling these right now. They stopped because of the corona crisis that we're in. They probably will pick back up when things settle down. But I have had this for a while and I thought today would be a good day to do a jewelry unboxing. This is just a flyer that they have inside all of their boxes. And they're really good about presentation. And I don't know if they still do this, but oftentimes when I've gotten these, they have these organza bags inside. Not all the pieces have organza bags, but a lot of them do. So it's kind of a nice way to package up their jewelry. Let's put this aside and just start unpacking. Now this first item I'm opening is a gold tone, looks like a rope chain necklace, I believe. And I'm going to need to take the camera down a little bit closer. Let's do that. Closer is better. So as you can see, it's a really gorgeous gold tone finish. Very brilliant. And there is a rope chain. It feels substantial. It feels nice and heavy. It's got a clasp on there with a, a jewelry mark. So let's take the camera in to see if we can read this. I cannot seem to make that out, but if anyone has a clue as to the brand on this, please let me know down in the comment section. Here's how the clasp opens, and it's definitely a working clasp. I don't see any marking on the clasp itself. This is a great looking piece, and if I didn't mention it already, I am a full-time seller on eBay. So if that brand seems like something that would be worthwhile listing in my eBay store, that will end up getting listed. I'm grabbing that next bag out. This one looks like it's a bracelet, and it is. This is a bracelet, silver tone, hearts and X's. And the hearts have a textured, like a matte textured finish. It's brushed and the X's are polished. It feels nice. And there is the clasp. Let's open it up. And it looks like it is marked. And that is a 925 mark on there. This bracelet looks very much like one I think I got in my very last unboxing video in the thread up box, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know if that one was sterling silver. Um, but it's a very nice bracelet. I will take the magnet to it just to make sure that it does not stick to the magnet and oops, and it doesn't. So that's a good thing. Mother's Day is coming up and this cute little bracelet will get listed in my eBay store. All right, grabbing the next little blue bag. We should call these blue bags or blue box with blue bags. Okay, this looks like a statement piece, a statement necklace. Lots of rhinestones. I like the way this is looking. Oh, but right off I'm seeing missing, missing stones from this. So there's pearls here that should be in place. Let's lay this out. So I'm seeing a lot of stones that are missing. There's a rhinestone that's missing here. And I pointed out those two spots right there should have pearls. 
another stone that's missing there or a pearl. So that's pretty disappointing because this is supposed to be curated pieces where they pick out pieces for people to wear, not a DIY box. So I'm pretty disappointed in that. There is a tag on this Aldo. Well, this would have been a very nice necklace to list, but of course I'm not going to list it. I will be putting this in a craft lot of jewelry. And by the way, if you do not know what a craft lot is, pieces that I can't sell from these jewelry unboxings and unjarrings will be put into one big craft lot. And then from there, I make four or five different craft lots and list them on eBay. And if you'd like to get notified uh, on the heads up on when those become available, follow me on Instagram. And I'm going to put my Instagram name on the screen right here. I just pulled this little guy out here. Alex and Annie, Lotus Peace Petals is what I'm reading through the bag. Let me get this open. Okay, well this is a nice piece. It looks like it's in brand new condition. So I've got the Lotus Charm there. And the Alex and Annie Charms here. So I like this. I like this very much. These are pretty popular. Um, that, that one does say 2014 on the back. It looks like it was reattached to the card, but that's fine. Stella E. Luna, that might be a retail store or something where it came from, Bay Avenue. I'm not sure. But I'm, I'm very happy with this, and I think I can list this in my eBay store. Next thing I'm pulling out didn't have an organza bag. So this is in the box by itself. It's quite pretty. It's a bracelet, sort of a watch band style bracelet. It's got some beautiful pearls and some antique silver details here and the buckle on here. Let's take a closer look inside because I'm seeing some stamps in there. That says Anora. Wow. What a nice piece to find in this box, an Anora bracelet. It's high quality jewelry, and oftentimes the pieces are um, silver. This, the findings on here are silver. Let's see if I can find a mark. Looks like there's a stamp right there. I'm gonna pull in closer. And I can't see through the viewfinder the way I'm looking, but I'm this may be a jewelry stamp for Nora. So there's another look at the stamp. And this does say genuine leather. So I'm definitely going to be listing this in my eBay store. Let's keep going here. Looks like a pair of Napier earrings rhinestone crystals let's see what this says clip ear socialite so these are clip earrings i'll take those off the card looks like they retail for 24 dollars and this is a better look at the earring they're really pretty crystal earrings with teardrop and they are clip-ons and this clip-on works this way so it clips on this way and then also has a screw back that you can make it looser or tighter on your ear so those are really pretty and i will be listing those in my ebay store too especially since they're brand new on the card all right here's another piece that did not have a bag with it so it's a really pretty bracelet with a magnetic clasp and I really like these little satellite charms they have on here little buttons with crystals all over it and I'm seeing a jewelry tag there and let's see what that says Saatchi okay Saatchi is a nice fashion costume line Nothing too terribly expensive, but it still might be worth listing, maybe for eight or nine dollars. I'll have to do more research on it, but it looks in like it's in really great shape. So I'm happy with that. 
Another thing you'll find a lot of times in these Goodwill blue boxes of jewelry are these little white envelopes, which always, I kind of like the surprise of what's inside. It's not always terrific, but sometimes it is. So let's see what's in here. Okay, there looks to be several earrings. So let me sort through these. So here they all are. These are, they look to be homemade. These could be sterling silver findings on here. Uh, these two, but the still the beads feel like plastic. This one doesn't even have the ear wire with it and this is not sterling. So for sure these two I'm putting in the craft lot and I might just end up putting all of them in the craft lot actually. So that white envelope was not a treasure trove, but that's okay. Pulling out another organza bag. Looks like a pretty nice watch. Let's see, let's see. All right. And it is an Ancline watch. Very nice. And look, it's ticking. So we know it works. Yay. <laughs> So this is gorgeous, actually. It's got crystals. Let me make sure they're all there. So far, they look to be all there. Wow. Now this is a nice piece to find in this bag or in this box. Stainless steel. And they always have the model number of the watch. So you can even look that up to see what the retail was on that. This is an AK2019. I'm quite pleased. Beautiful mother of pearl face and Roman numerals, gold tone, and it works. So this is definitely a thumbs up for me. And I guess just to change things up a little, they included a taupe colored organza bag, which is fine with me. Maybe they ran out of the blue ones. It's a pretty little thing. I like it. I hope it's sterling silver. What do we have here? Isn't this pretty? A swirly design, a pendant, kind of a wave. It's very pretty. I like the detail on the bail there. That's, hey, guess what I see? I see a Brighton logo charm. This is really pretty. It's got a snake chain. Look how pretty this is. Check it out. And on the end of the necklace there, what does that say? Oh, that's just a, a stamp design in there. Wow, I am not complaining about this little beauty right here. Not at all. I'll be listing this in my eBay store. Yes, I will. A couple more of these blue bags left here. Wow, this is very pretty. This is a necklace, a very long necklace with some geometric uh, chain and also links, wavy disks, and wow, this is pretty. These, these disks have crystals embedded inside. This is a super long piece, and I do see a jewelry tag. I did see a jewelry tag. Here it is. And we have a Chico's necklace here. So this is definitely something I will be listing in my eBay store. Give you a closer up look at this. One of the two bags that are left appears to have a ring in there. Here's the close-up view of the ring. It's very pretty. I like the setting. That might be citrine or it may be glass. I am not sure how to tell at this point. I do see that it's stamped inside. And let's see if I can show you. I see that it's a sterling. Let me see. See that? So it's actually quite a pretty ring. I will get my ring size or my mandrel out and check the size of this ring. So it looks like this is a six and a half. It's 
a really pretty ring. I like the prong setting looks like a quality setting there. Very nice. I hope you've been enjoying this video so far. We're just about at the end, and I'm really hoping that you will take the time and give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Look how pretty this pendant is. It's glass, it looks like Murano, and it has pretty crystal rondelles on each side. This part right here feels like a rubber tube here. And let's see, does it have, it does have a tag. And this one says Murano glass, yes. And this side, it's upside down, but this side says made in Italy. Very good. I will take the magnet to it. Right, that's magnetized. Oh, this is magnetized, so it's not sterling silver, but it's a gorgeous bracelet. I mean, that pendant is beautiful. That's very pretty. Here are all the pieces from this jewelry unboxing from Goodwill Blue Box. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button to see more videos just like this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Thanks for coming in, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.